back of the garage. I'm well aware that this channel has turned into uh, everything about this Datsun at the minute, but that's what I'm creating at the minute, so. And the Creators Podcast is about people creating stuff, so this is what we're creating. So we're still waiting on the, the top mounts cut for the, the shock absorbers. So while we're waiting on that coming, we're working on the, we've still got these to finish anyway. So they'll look nice there. Love the shape of them. Same at the front as well, a similar sort of twisty bendy shape. And then we've got this section here strengthening that whole thing. So I'm about to drop the subframe out of it so we can take these, what would you call these Jonathan, like markers? Uh, yeah, it's just like a jig for the yeah. truck top. That, that's what we use to help locate exactly where the top of the strut should be. So we've taken them out now and going to sit the engine into it so that we can look at the lineup of the prop shaft and uh, work out what's going on there. So I'm doing that while Jonathan's finishing this off and then we're going to look at extending the rear frame to accommodate the mountings for the for the pickup bed that's what we're looking at doing today so it's gonna have the engine sat in it it's really starting to look like a car though It's actually quite mad to see the engine sat beside the car, like beside the chassis, do you know what I mean? It's like, shit didn't look like this. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there's no S13 anymore. That was Carl. This is Jonathan. Did you just whisper piss off at me? Yep. Like, come and stand and have a look at this car. Come and have a look at this. Just like the view of those from there. Don't they look nice? Like, it's like, it's a work of art, it's a sculpture. Do it two grinders, couldn't you? Yeah. Mm. So it blew a hole in it. Even though I've got holes. Well, right. Must have been 
some contamination in the steel itself. So the moment has arrived, time to put the engine in. Right. I'm swinging about on the gearbox there, so I can just move it like that. Yeah. Um, Are we anywhere near? You'd have to put it on the mount, I think. Yeah. Where's the bolts that you've done? Uh, just in the corner of that box. That box there, and I put the washers on top and bottom. So there. <laughs> First visual of it anyway. It sits quite a bit further back than you would have imagined there. Eh? Yeah. Even though you can see where the engine mounts are, it's when it's sat in there. The engine mounts are quite far forward on the engine, aren't they? So yeah, so there's a lot like... You could maybe move that, like. Yeah, it doesn't look like it'd be too difficult to move the... Check it up on the... On the hoist. Well, obviously it's got no support on the back, has it, so... Yeah. There, it's sitting on the back, I think. Yeah, it's sitting on the rack or... With disco. Is that too high? Probably. Yeah, too high. But... Stand, Bobby. Put a stand on the back corner. Right, good thinking. Right, the engine is in. So all the, well not all of the welding, the underneath stuff is still to do, but it's enough to build it up and then when we strip it down again um, for painting, we'll weld all the underneath bits that need doing. Any other bits. So we've got the gearbox mount to go in across here. Um, that's the next job, and then looking at the prop shaft and the mount for the centre bearing. Uh, we'll have to see about getting the prop shaft lengthened as well. Also, the ang the angles of all of this is really important. You. You're not supposed to have a prop shaft running totally straight because it, it wears the the joint at a certain place and you, you need a little bit of angle on them to stop them wearing too much. So um, we need to set up the angles of that right as well. Just one of the rear struts just sitting in place. 
So we're working out a, an extra brace to go onto there. So, so those aren't quite finished yet. Just discussing about the back end and how much of this I want exposed. Cause I'm thinking about like not having the, 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 the floor in the pickup bed. Obviously the bed starts round about at the back of the gearbox all the way and then it comes way past the back wheels because it's got a really long tail on the pickup bed and i just say in there about potentially just like chopping the back clean off because this looks really cool it doesn't actually need to go past the wheels for any particular reason but then i wouldn't want to lose the datsun backboard either so i don't know like I'm gonna I'm gonna do a drawing because I think that would look quite quite bizarre. Be cool to see all this a lot more, you know. You know, like when they've got a Lamborghini and you know the engines obviously all in the back and turbos and whatnot there create a similar sort of look with that. I'm loving all these shapes, the way the lines flow into the into the lines, especially on the front, like from almost every angle. And it's probably going to be really difficult to appreciate on camera, but from, from almost every angle, these things look really, really nice, pleasing shape. So these will be triangulated across to the uh, roll cage that's going to be in the cab. And then don't really need to do a strut brace, to be honest with you. And then everything will be connected through the roll cage and the framework for the radiator and everything that's going to be about here will be triangulated back to the strut tops. So there's still going to be a hell of a lot of framework to to do to this. So I'm absolutely buzzing with where we've got to. It's uh, yeah another one of them points where you you pass a pass a marker point, you know. So the engine's sitting back in. Obviously everything's got to come back to bits, and there's loads to do yet miles away. But yeah, really pleased with where we've got to today. Big thanks to Jonathan at JDM Dino for all his hard work and putting up with me. As Oz said in the comments about uh, putting up with my mad stuff, he's had to do it for years, so it's, uh, I think he enjoys it secretly. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll check out for today, do the old buttons, press the buttons, don't press the red button. Right, thanks for watching, we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.